I have the hardest time telling if I turned the camera on or not. This is like my first video that I'm recording. So anyway, welcome. This is my first video on this channel. And hopefully I'll be making a lot more if this goes through successfully. I don't care, I'll probably make videos anyway if no one's watching. But anyway, I thought my first video would be the vinyl tag so I could introduce my record collection and you could see how I do with it. So, here you go. How many records do I own? I own 104 records, which isn't a lot. I just started collecting about four years ago. So, there's that. I mean, I try going there when I'm not a... Because I'm a college student, so it's hard to find the time, time to go record shopping. But when I do, it's really like the best experience ever. <laughs> an Audio-Technica table. It's an LB, LP60 USB. It's pretty standard. I mean, it's nothing high-tech or anything. And the speaker it got for like $50 at on Black Friday sale. So, there's that. Maybe when I older I could get a nicer stereo setup, but for now this will do. I was 17 going on 18. Um, me and my best friend were downtown and we saw a record shop. And I didn't expect to really buy anything. I've always admired vinyl. When I watched Rock and Roll High School, that movie about the Ramones, that's from like 1978. But I didn't have a record player, so I had no interest in buying one. And then I saw... I'll get to that later, but yeah, that answers it. It is Dominique the Singing Nun. It's also known as that weird, creepy French song from American Horror Story Asylum. It's from 1963. Um, I wish I had something older to show off, but this is it for now. Um, yeah. So Lady Gaga, born this way. This is the record I was telling you about that I found downtown with my best friend. Oh my, look at this. It's beautiful. This record means so much to me. Like, I'm just moving on. Age of Aquarius by Fifth Dimension, which has that amazing song, Age of Aquarius, which I heard on the second episode of American Horror Story Murder House. Um, that song is fucking amazing with the whole serial killer coming in the house. But. It's falling apart, but I got this album for 99 cents, so this was basically a steal. This was basically a steal, so. Another one I got around that same time was Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. This band is very near and dear to my heart. It's what my parents always played when they were cleaning the house when I was growing up. So, there's that. Hands down from the Ultra Violence album by Lana Del Rey. I mean, look at this box set. Look at her. This is quad. Like, I'd be shocked to see if the vinyl wasn't colored. But let me show you. Look at that. Look at these hydrangeas. Have you ever seen hydrangeas so colorful? And this is Instagram as fuck. Look at this filter. And look at the back is even better in purple. Actually, I can't decide which, but they're both equally pretty. I wouldn't expect this, but since it's probably easy for people to find, but I've been looking for this for years. Because this is from one of my favorite movies. This is Breakfast at Tiffany's soundtrack by Henry Mancini. It's one of my favorite movies ever. Like, I could watch that movie over and over and over again and not get tired of it. And Moon River is like a classic. Like, you have to live under a rock to not know the tunes. This familiar, like, chords of Moon River. Go out and get yourself that if you don't know what that is. There's also Fleetwood Mac Rumors. This is like the standard like Fleetwood Mac album to get into. Like every fucking song on this album is a hit. Like, but um, I couldn't just pick one. I love listening to female solo artists, so I picked the three debut albums of my top three female artists of all time. The first one is Self Titled by Madonna. Like it has tracks like Borderline, Holiday, you have you have to be very ignorant to not know these songs. Then there's The Fame by Lady Gaga. 
This album changed my life. I just turned into a teenager. 14, 13 going on 14 when this album came out, so it's very important to me. It's, I mean, look at this packaging. Like, it's amazing, but the transfer onto vinyl didn't really go so well. I prefer the CD quality over this. This is basically trash, but it's still a good purchase to have in your collection, so there's that. And finally, there's Lana Del Rey, Born to Die. I listened to her when I was 17, going on 18, senior in high school, and it is so beautiful. Like, every track on this album is fucking amazing. You just, if you're hesitant to listen to her, just listen to this entire album. Like, come at me if you think this album is trash, because... Is the Ramones Road to Ruin? Ruin, oh my god, Road to Ruin. Um, yeah, I watched Rock and Roll High School, and then this was a very prominent album throughout the whole movie. And when I bought the CD, I thought it was good, but when I finally bought the vinyl, about two years ago in Santa Cruz, I almost shot myself in the middle of the record store. It was an amazing find. Um, also, another band is Florence and the Machine. You may think of her as a solo artist, but The Machine is the rest of the band. Florence is the singer. Um, I have Lungs from her. I also have How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, which are both amazing, deeply, whew, deeply emotional albums. I don't have Ceremonials because the price on that is crazy. Like 45 fucking dollars. And I'm like, I'll stick with the CD. <laughs> The impulse buy I had was FK Twigs LP1. I, before I bought this, I'd never listened to her at all, but everyone on Tumblr and Twitter would talk about her. So I thought, why not buy the vinyl? So I got this, and I was very impressed with what I got. For records, um, only two of my friends have ever given me records, and one of them is named Dennis. He's a very close friend of mine. I consider him one of my best friends. He gave it to me on our first day of junior year of college, which is the, no senior year of college, this is just a year ago. Um, he gave me Shirley Temple. This Russian overture that I don't want to try to pronounce because I feel like I'm gonna be attacked. Um, the Rocky soundtrack. And two Elton John records. He knows I'm gay, so he probably <laughs> that's probably why he got it for me, because he just assumed that I was into him. Another friend of mine that gave me records for a gift was, her name is Jasmine. She gave me this on my 21st birthday. Most friends would usually give alcohol. She, gives, she gave cookies and records and I was just as happy, if not happier than getting alcohol. She gave me Bananarama, Love, Truth, and Honesty. The Control Single by Janet Jackson. Constructed, which is like a remix Disney re record. and. Bill Haley's Greatest Hits, never heard of him before this, but I was very impressed with the content of this uh, vinyl, I mean the cover is pretty, like... And MC Hammer's Turn This Mother Out. This is quite fun to play on my 21st birthday. Marina the Diamonds, Fruit. This is a phenomenal record. It's very Oh my god, it's just amazing. And Paradise by Lana Del Rey. It's a short EP, but every song on this is immaculate. And Ride, the first track on side A, is just. Whew, that takes me on an emotional roller coaster that I'm not prepared to go to this morning. Yesterday and Today by The Beatles. I don't actually know how rare this record is, but. It is the rarest out of my entire collection. Like, I don't have very sought after albums right now, but this is probably it. On a rainy day, I like to listen to The Beatles' Help. Um, I watched the movie before I listened to the album first. Help by The Beatles, the movie, is such, it's such a wacky, fun movie that you can just sit in your room on a rainy day and watch all day and the accompanying vinyl soundtrack is just as fun to listen to as it is to watch.
Sons, The Carpenters, the singles 1969 and 1973. Um, it's very relaxing to listen to The Carpenters, and Karen Carpenter's voice is like unmatched today. Like, I know very few female artists who can capture the warmth of her voice, who have the same warmth as her voice, but this is a. should go out and get it! The Heart, self titled, I believe. Self titled. And Journey Escape. These are the kind of songs my. my parents were teenagers in the 80s, so this was the shit I grew up on when I was growing up. They played the crap out of these bands, and that 80s sound is just... I feel like I grew up in it because I listen to it so much. They're both Florence and the Machine related, because I'm not really interested in Record Store Day. I don't know why, it's like overpriced, but I will spend some money for some Florence, okay? Um, I got What Kind of Man, the single. Check out this vinyl. It's baby blue and it's... Whew. Look at the contrast between the, sleeve, the cover art and the vinyl. It's just... Whew, stark contrast. Hey, for this year's Record Store Day, I bought the Delilah single from the same album, How, blue, How, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful. And the vinyl on this is almost the same, but it's more marble-like than the last one. Um, and it also includes a cover of Only Love Can Break Your Heart and I've only fallen in love with two songs in my life, and this is one of them. The other one being Ride by Lana Del Rey, but this... Try to find one, it's rare. My friend Petey actually found this, and he was on fire that day. He was finding records for me, and he made me fight over this. He doesn't like Florence and the Machine as much as I do. He just likes seeing me struggle to buy this. So if you're watching this, fuck you. But also, thank you. Finally, my most recent purchase was Lights, Midnight Machines. Um, it's the acoustic version of her other LP, Little Machines, and hearing the acoustic version of this was amazing. Like, every song on this album, just it's perfect when you want to go to sleep at night. Was that shady? But yeah, I like playing this and I just want to relax. Like after a stressful day at work or anything, I just want to pop on this record player and, and look at this vinyl. Look, like, the first time I pulled that out, I had, I gasped. Like, I had to gasp. There was no other way to react to it. The end of the vinyl tag video, um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, whatever you want, just don't leave mean things. I'm just kidding, leave mean things if you want, I don't give a shit. But yeah, subscribe, I would really appreciate it, but let me know that I should do more videos, and thanks for watching.